Hi, it's Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I am back to do an update on my 14 by February 14th. Now, I have two other projects going right now, both of which are ending like December 31st, so I'm gonna just wait until December 31st or January 1st to do the updates on those. It's two projects. In the interim, I have to do an empties video because let me just show you my empties barrel. I can't even get the top on it. That is one of those big giant popcorn containers. Normally it holds all my empties, but I have such an assortment of empties in there right now. I have empties from this project. I have empties from um, the two that are ending on December 31st. So it's like I, I have to do a video on empties because it's going to explode. But that is for the next video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to update my 14 by February 14th with this video. Now this is a project pan video and um, we picked 14 items. I believe I also moved some things from my original 13 by Halloween into this and uh, so I will have to add those as well. So I'm gonna go, I do have a list and I know what's gone and what's not gone. So I'm gonna start at the very top and the first thing was the shampoo and conditioner from Dove. Now I had this in my linen closet because I had stopped using it. Not so much because I was cruelty free yet, but because I was using other stuff and really enjoying organics which has like OGX, by the way, they're not cruelty free anymore, just in case you really loved it. Um, I really loved it because they were cruelty free and now they sell in China. So those of you who are concerned about that, you don't want to buy those products anymore. I have used up all of my shampoo and conditioner from that line, but I still have several um, styling products. So you will see those. So here is the Dove conditioner and the shampoo. Typically I use more conditioner than shampoo, which is pretty typical. This is the Daily Moisture Shampoo and you can see there's quite a bit of progress there. This is a massive bottle and this is the conditioner and you can see there's a little bit more progress there. I noticed since I've been using this and I switched, when I finished up the organic stuff, the OGX, which is now selling in China, when I finished that, I pulled these out and I started these into a project pan. My hair is breaking more. Like with the organics, there wasn't hair in the bottom of the shower, maybe a couple hairs, that's it. With this, there's like a little pile of hair in the drain. So I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna go back to the shampoo. Well, not only because it's not cruelty free, but also, I think it's making my hair break. Put those aside and that brings me to the next item which was the Olay Moisture Body Wash with Shea Butter. That is in that barrel and it is all gone. Trust me, it's completely gone. I did use that up pretty quickly. The bottle didn't have that much in it and of course Olay is not cruelty free. I did actually use um, the entire bottle up. Next thing was Bath and Body Works 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Butter in Moonlit Path. Now this is tough because you cannot see, no matter flashlights, light bulbs, doesn't matter. No matter what you do, you can't see into this. So the way I can tell is the hollow sound goes away. right about here. So I'm going to guess that that's where I am. I'm not going to mark it because I'm not positive, but I have been using this. I do have a page on my website. I'll post it down below. that has information about what's cruelty free, what's not cruelty free. I always put links to wherever I found the information. So there is no like, like I don't just automatically put it down there because you have to check the links. This is what happened with bio oil. I thought it was cruelty free. 
November, it was posted as cruelty free. And before I know it, December hits and bang, it's not cruelty free anymore because they decided to sell in China. What the heck? So you have to always check so you'll see dates. And that's how I know when I last checked the item. So anyway, Clinique is not cruelty free either. Oh, and it looks like it's actually lower than my measurement. It is. Oh my gosh, I didn't measure correctly. Sorry about that. It's going to have two lines on it now. Um, and actually, it's more accurate on the back here. And oh my gosh. Oh, so that's a huge difference. All right. Well, when I held this up, I have a Hollywood mirror behind you. So I have lots and lots of light and gigantic light bulbs. And I had measured this to here. And actually, now that I have it up by the Hollywood mirror, I see that it is actually to here. So I did draw another line. So there's going to be two lines. This is not cruelty free. This actually, I really like it. And I use this with my face brush. Um, so I don't tend to use it unless I'm using my face brush. It does foam a little bit with the face brush, but it's very mild cleanser. And so, and it doesn't gunk up the brush. Like if I use oil, it, then I have to wash the brush when I'm done. Um, this, I can rinse the brush in hot water. Like I take the brush off the actual face brush. So I just have the brush itself. Um, and I rinse that in hot water every time I use it. And um, I always use this soap. So I'm not sure whether this will be gone or not um, February 14th, but I'm going to make a concerted effort because quite a few other cleansers that were in other projects are gone. And so therefore should be fine. Uh, next thing was Gilchrist and Soam's Spa Therapy Body Lotion. Now that is in the barrel. And I'll give a review on that also. That is when I do a lot of my product reviews. After I've used something up, then I really know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's why I do my reviews. The other thing, I counted these as two things, as one thing rather. Um, the Gilcrest and Soames was already like halfway done. This was full all the way to the top. This is the other item. And it's right to here. Now I was using up another lotion. Problem with this is I don't really like the smell. It's peaches and cream or something like that, peach and shine or whatever. It's from Ulta. The consistency is nice. It's very moisturizing. The only problem is I don't really like the smell of peaches. They just don't smell good to me. And that's my own peculiarity. So, um, but I've made pretty good progress on that considering that I used up a couple other lotions. All right, so the next thing is good and natural retinol cream. Now there's no real way for me to mark the outside of this. I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out, but you can see I have used it. You can actually see I used it last night because it's got a little finger mark. I've been using this on my neck. Now it's not, it smells good. It's by a health food company, so I believe it's cruelty free. It was like nearly impossible to find that information. I don't believe the retinol is, does very much, but since I can't use my Retin-A on my neck because it's too irritating, and I found that out. Sometimes I can use it, sometimes I can't. I've been using this on my neck every night. Next thing is um, Rester C Revitalizing Eye Cream. Now, truthfully, I haven't used this very much because when I pulled my samples for my um, 10 by the 31st um, samples. I'll put the, a link down below for that. Uh, I actually stopped using this so much, but it's really nice. You can see that I actually have made a lot of progress. It's almost like, I mean, it's all the way down, but down into the sides here is pretty full. So I think it's still gonna be a little bit of a time one thing I didn't like about this eye cream is I think it's responsible for a milia that I got on my skin, like right around my eye. So anyway, uh, I did make some progress, but not as much as I would like to. But I do have until February 14th with that, so and I'd only have a little limited time with the other stuff. One of the other items I had was a Lay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Serum. It's in the barrel. It's all gone. 
gone, gone. Um, I Now, Olay I'm not going to repurchase because it's not cruelty free. I did really love the way that serum felt though. Next thing is this Alme TLC foundation. I have actually managed to get all the way down to here. So now this is just the first update. So, you know, a lot of people have done more updates than I have, but I've gotten to here. So you can see how low it is. Love, hate this. Um, matches my skin tone brilliantly, but it's definitely not an on-camera type of foundation. A lot of foundations you can see right through when you put all the lights on and it's like, crap, my skin looks like crap, you know? Um, this actually looks pretty nice on, but not always. So this is more of a weekend, go out to dinner with the hubby, looks good in public, doesn't photograph well. So Next is L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and L'Oreal, the big evil animal testing giant. Actually, they are trying to teach Chinese people um, to test without using animals, so I shouldn't say that. This is actually showing a lot of wear. I planned to use this instead of the lighter colors in the palette that's also in this, but is going to go straight into Project Palette. The next is Doll 10 Hydrogel Cream Blush. Now that is, I actually have quite a few things in this box. I try to keep the makeup separate. Um, and Doll 10, I don't know. I wrote to this company and they never wrote back to me, so I cannot vouch for whether they're cruelty free or not. I have made quite a divot there, but it's pretty dense and deep with product, and so I think it's going to take a little bit of time for this to actually be gone. I have not started using this yet. This is Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I'm currently using another sampler, so I have not opened this yet. This might stink like a skunk when I open it, because I don't know how old this is. I got this in a box who knows how long ago, so I'm going to have to smell it and make sure it's okay when I do finally start to use it, but I didn't want to open it until I got close to that point. Tarte Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. You know, this is a sample size that I got in an Ipsy bag, and it's really taking forever. So the sample actually has a lot of product, but you can see there's a little bit of a dip forming there now. My goal was just to hit pan with this. I don't know. It's taking forever, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, Rouge Bunny Lip Gloss. This. See that line? I don't know if you can see that line, but there's the line. And I, I'm wearing it today, and I've used it a couple times. It just seems to be taking a while to be done. Don't know why. I believe there are a couple things that I moved into this project. One of them was this concealer, which I always thought was so wonderful, and it really sucks. Excuse my language. It's a CoverGirl stick, and it settles into fine lines like you wouldn't believe. So when I do wear this, I only wear like a little bit here and there, and I don't go past. Sadly, some days my dark circles are too serious to just use a tiny bit. I also had moved my Milani eye primer. Now I've used quite a bit of this, but it's, let's see, let's see if I can measure, no. Once you get down to this area here, it's really hard to see. Milani is cruelty free, awesome stuff. I had also moved my NYC powder. This is awesome powder. I absolutely love this. This is smooth skin, smooth skin powder. I love this. I'm not repurchasing it because it's not cruelty free. They sell in China. It is 702A is the color. And I actually have a little bit of that on. I have made significant progress. So you can see there is quite a divot there. Uh, my little bit of 
um, hitting pan, which was a dot, is now a little bit bigger. So, and I think I moved this into here. I'm not positive, but I believe I moved this Elizabeth Arden blush. I will have to check my last um, 14 by February 14th video. It's in the box with the other stuff that I moved into this. Um, so I, I'm thinking that I did. So, all right. And one, another thing that I have put into, I had put, I should say, into this 14 by February 14th was this um, L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1. Excuse the fingerprints, my goodness, holy crap. I have used this a couple times, 14 by February 14th, which I actually have more than 14 things, even with the stuff that's already gone. So I'm going to be removing this from this challenge. Um, is I've been using this gold pretty much. The lighter colors, I've been using this to use this up. This is... Oh, how do I get that to not show? This is not cruelty free. So if you wonder why I chose this, it's so that I use it up and get rid of it. Never to be in my house again. I'm taking this out of 14 by February 14th. Stay tuned for a video about my project palette, which is going to span the entire year 2016. So stay tuned for that. That is everything from my February 14th and I have done fabulous progress and I have gotten a lot done, a lot empty. Why do we do these project empty, you know, project pan, all those? It's not so much because, oh, we've got these great products and we've got to use them up, use them up, use them up. No, it's because you have so much stuff and you don't realize how much stuff you have and you're not using it. And so what happens is you pull something like, say you pull one of your high enders out, like this is also my other favorite. Say you pull this out because you haven't been using it and you go, holy crap, it's all separated and nasty. And oh, now it gave me a rash. So that's why we do these so that we don't have so much crap laying around. Honestly, there's a lot of crap playing around. So a lot of us have very big makeup collections and we have to get through them. Not just use something a little here and a little there and just admire it. No. That's why we film these project pans because we realize how much stuff we have. We're not enjoying it all because there's so much that we just have to use some of it up so that we can finally move on and buy things that we really love. Speaking of which, I'm not completely on a no buy. I got a Christmas gift certificate for um, Ulta. I actually have placed two orders and a Sephora order because I got a gift certificate for Sephora. So I'll be doing an unboxing when all that gets here. <sighs> Otherwise I'm on a no buy. So thank you for watching. This has been Mary with her Year's Diary with my update for 14 by February 14th. So thank you for watching and have a beautiful evening. Good night.